car in the middle of the main of Atlantic Ocean. That's right. We're on a sea legs boat. We drove up here and we had to kind of get around that rock. But what's nice is that I can continue with the elements here and go out this way. I saw this on Google Maps and I said, geez, look at that. It looks, it's like it's shivering. Like if you look through like polarized, look at that. I don't know you can see that. It's just beautiful. Uh, so, I'm upward. I've been home. Yeah. Brisk day out here, about 53 degrees. Next you see at uh, 3, no, 3 o'clock. <laughs> 3 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Those look like rocks. You're supposed to know the difference between rocks and seaweed, but you're doing good. Probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. High mark. So the other thing you can see, if you want to explore an area like this, you're worried about hitting rocks. You can see that it's kind of a tan color underneath. That's a good sign. And you can see the lobster pot. Generally, the lobster men know where it's deep. And of course, it's not deep sharks. We're going to put the uh, legs down. Okay. Yep. Fire it up. Fire it up. Raise the sea legs. Wheels up. We want to make sure we don't drift sideways here and that there's no rocks underneath us to hit the motor. But even if there are, I can just lift the motor and we'll just drift on through. There's the first sea leg. And the rear is coming up. Oh. And we're officially a drift. So, the motor's just idling. The clock's not spinning. This is a safer way to do this. Is just let the elements bring us out. That way if it's spinning, if we hit something, you know, and don't want to break damage your prop, we're much more likely well, I've got polarized glasses, and I mean, I, you know, you can see, though, on yeah. Google Maps, it's clear. Yeah. Uh, it was a clear day that they, yeah. whatever, took the aerial, yeah. and you can just see. So we're going to engage the prop a little bit. Yep. Sorry. And just to kind of keep us going, because this is, I'm only showing, let's see here. Doing okay here, but again, erring on the side of caution, letting the elements take us out. Oh my god, there's rocks up here. One o'clock, one o'clock. Well, Did you see it underneath this roller here? Oh, yeah, where it rolled. Yeah, would you see one peeking out right there? No, <laughs> you mean that one that's sticking out? I see oh, that yeah. one at two o'clock. One o'clock's a big difference. Oh, at two no. o'clock, well, no, okay. <laughs> now we're drifting fine right now. We're going towards these lobster pots again. Where the lobster boats come all the time, so yep, yeah, just gonna drift a sec. Just gonna drift a sec. And we'll drift uh, 7.7 .7 feet, so that's good. We're gonna give it a little boost. But since I still see rocks ahead of me, I mean I can still see though. See the color you can't yeah, see you don't have these you don't I have the polarized, polarized, but I can't really yeah, see you can really see with it. This is all sand. So try your glasses. I'm gonna lend these to her and it'll be like, kunk. Oh, oh Captain didn't that's see not, that. No, it's not true. <laughs> it takes mine all the time. <laughs> I don't really see in the light. See how it's like tan here? Yeah. And it's we're in yeah. 11 feet of water, so it's a sandy bottom, yeah. I think. Pretty I sure. Yeah. All right, we're good. See, I gave them back to you. Wow. Yep. That was a first, right? Yep. <laughs> all right. Nice little exploration oh, there. Oh, look at that! Very cool. <laughs> and 
boom, 12 feet of water. Now, I know this point right here is shallow. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Well, you can still, these guys are it's like off of that side of it, though. Yeah. How did you discover that sandbar? I saw it on Google Maps. I know, but how you were just looking? Uh, I'm, I'm always looking all around. Yeah. Yep. Say bye.